Welcome to the Healing Hour. I am your host, Athena Rodriguez, and we'll be having some healing conversations. And welcome to um, this episode of the Healing Hour podcast. And today we have our special guest, BYOB. And um, tell the audience a little bit more about your brand. Absolutely. Now, BYOB, everybody does not stand for bring your own beverage. (laughs) Bring your own bottle. (laughs) Bring your own bottle. It doesn't stand for that. (laughs) This is the real BYOB, everybody, okay? This BYOB stands for Build Your Own Brain. That's correct, your brain. And what we do, we are a we are a pivot point for everybody to learn how to control of their take control of their thinking, self mastery. So you can learn how to be in control of your feelings. You tell your feelings to follow you. You don't follow your feelings. The circumstances of the situations of the world. You can learn how to block out those negative thoughts and become a guardian and a watcher of whatever goes into your mind. Because whatever goes into your mind, it comes out. Mm -hmm. So we've learned and developed a way within our business, within our company, new mental technologies that people can can practice on a daily basis to self-mastery. Awesome. I love to hear it. So um, one mantra I guess that I live by is you know life is life and death is held in the power of the tongue right so one thing about our words um is you know they create our reality and I'm a big you know supporter of manifestation I've manifested amazing things in my life I've manifested um terrible things in my life (laughs) just all based off of when my attitude yes um, my words and my thoughts yes. and what I was feeding myself uh, subconscious mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. what are some ways that uh, I guess that y'all feed your subconscious and the words uh, I guess give me a little more background on um, how you use your words every day to create your reality well every morning what we do is we write down three things that we're grateful for can you hear me mm-hmm. We write down three things that we're grateful for. And by just showing your gratitude towards things like the smallest things, it can be like the light switch or something like that, or like the shoelaces in your shoe, you know, or a new day or new opportunity, whatever it is, you know, um, it's just a sign of just showing like gratitude, you know, gratitude is everything, you know, you need to show gratefulness in order for your day to prosper properly, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you should feel happy, joyful, you know, say, I am happy, I am joyful in the morning and continuously say that throughout the day. And I can guarantee you that you will have a happy and joyful day uh, versus waking up on the wrong side of the bed, pissed, pissed, you know, like um, just angry at the world. You know, you don't want to wake up like that, because if you wake up like that, then that's going to come on with your day. You know, it's going to carry throughout your entire day. And who wants to be sad or upset or angry? For no reason. When you have the choice every morning to start over, you don't have to let yesterday's or last week's um, emotions affect your new day. God gave you this new day. He woke you up this morning, you know. And so with that being said, you just want to um, make sure that you just say, I am happy. I am joyful every single day, every morning that you wake up and throughout the day. And I can guarantee that will start changing your life around. And even if you're if you're not happy, you don't feel joyful. It's like you 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 got this feeling like, man, you telling me to be grateful and all this stuff. Okay, I'll be grateful and telling me to be happy, but I don't feel happy. Guess what? All you have to do is just say it. You got to write it down and keep saying it. I ain't saying just fake it, but no, your brain cannot think of two things at the same time. So if you just keep saying it, keep saying it, and start believing it, start feeling it. Because every time you look down, you're above ground. That's reason in itself right there to celebrate all day long. There's an internal smile that you get that you have inside, but you to tap into it, you have to control the inner conversation. 
And that's where you come in talking about Mr. Thena saying those words, because like you said, the power of life and death is in the tongue. So whether you say, I am, I am strong, you get situations that develop you into that strong feeling that you desire. If you say, I can't, I don't feel like it, I don't have enough, they do this, they do that, and you blame that, what you're doing is you're using the law of attraction in its way to give you the negative things that you don't want. You don't want them, but why do you get them? Because the feeling that you have behind that thought is stronger than the feeling that, that you want with pleasure. You're gripping onto this pain. Why don't you let this pain go? Because for some reason, you got to be attentive. The attention that you're receiving from the pain, it builds you up. People pay attention to you when you explain the pain to other people. And you're probably scared to let it go because if you let it go, you ain't got nothing to explain. Oh, yeah. I definitely can relate to that. Um, I definitely used to get so dedicated to my bad moods. Like, you know, like just... I battled depression pretty much like my whole life. And every time I would explain it to like a professional or just like, just regular people, I'd be like, okay, well, be happy, be glad. And I'm like, wow, you cured my depression. <laughs> wow, I never thought to do that. <laughs> like, I've tried, <laughs> it's not working. Right. Yeah. What you um, have to do is find within yourself the proper step one. For a lot of people, step one, in my in my case, step one was taking up the pen and putting it to paper and writing three things down that I'm grateful for. That was my step one. And then after that what was step two, to do it again. And then step three, to do that again. And once I kept doing that, it opened up my mind to new ideas, better ideas, and I say, okay, I'm gonna start working out. I'm about to start reading about how to be uh, 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 more knowledgeable about myself, you know. And when you start, when you make that decision, because that's better, that's part of step one. You got to make the decision first. Mm -hmm. And once you make that decision, you have to take action. And within that action, act with with love, act with faith, and and clear out all of the negative self identity and all of that self like like you don't feel worthy. You got to cancel all of that out because your past does not matter. You control right now. Right now is what matters. Because in, in that in that great in that great book it says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And I'm not a preacher. I'm not ordained to do anything or preach in front of anybody. But the spirit inside of me is telling me that when it says the kingdom is up at is at hand, that's right now. That's right now, and you can control that. And with BYOB, build your own brain, we teach these technologies like Zap, Pow, Bang, and all these positive affirmations and mental transactions. Okay, let's get into these acronyms. <laughs> let's get into it. Right. What's a Zap? What's a, right. what's a boom? What's a bam? <laughs> you want to explain Zap? Yeah, so Zap is um, Z-A-P, and it stands for Zealous Attitudes Prevail. Zap. Zen. That's right. Zealous is your highest happy. You got to have a good attitude to get what you want out of everything. Mm -hmm. And prevail, that's a win. Not just a win for you, a win-win for the other person or situation that you're going through. So whenever you're feeling bad, you can zap yourself into a good feeling. But you got to know how to, uh, you, know, you know a good feeling. You know, you can take yourself there to that good feeling. All you got to do is like, okay, I know I was happy when I was on vacation. <laughs> I know I'm happy when I'm getting my feet and my toes done. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy when I'm getting my nails done, I got my hair done, I got a good outfit, I'm about to go out hang with my girls. You know, that feeling that I like to call it the ooh wee wee feeling. <laughs> you know that ooh wee wee. You know? So whenever you're feeling down, you can zap yourself into that ooh wee wee feeling with just saying to yourself, zealous attitudes prevail, zap. Mm -hmm. And you say it again in your mind mentally. Zealous attitudes prevail. Zap. That's two. And you say it again one more time. Zealous attitudes prevail. Zap. And you connect that to that ooh wee wee. <laughs> and see how you're laughing and you're chuckling? Yeah. Just like that. Instantly, you zapped yourself into that good mood. Right. Okay. Like, that's so helpful. The The only thing that did drag me out of depression was zapping myself. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know the acronym before, but right. now I know it now. Right. Because I'm like, okay. I'm, I, to me, it was always taught to me that, you know, this is your reality. 
this is your reality. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. So being positive and over, you know, wishing that, okay, like things will work out for the best was always seen as um, living in a dream world. Mm -hmm. Like you, people always tell you, be realistic. Nobody ever tells you, <laughs> you know, what if this can be my, what if I am being realistic right now? Yeah. What if my reality is, you know, whatever is in my happy place? What if my reality isn't, um, you know, these thoughts of these dark thoughts that keep bringing me back. Mm -hmm. um, and literally everything changed, which my mindset changed. Cause I'm like, okay, I complain all the time. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like, of the, it's always like, me. yeah. And then one day I was like, okay, the complaining thing isn't working. And I'm pretty sure I'm aggravating everybody around me right now. Nobody wants to be around me. And it's probably because I'm bringing the clouds, yeah. the rain, <laughs> and so if I was more pleasant and I was speaking better, you know, speaking well for my life, like, let me just try Let me see how this manifestation thing works out. And as soon as I started being very, very meticulous about what I would say, right. I... I would see those things happen. I'm like, wait a minute, am I a witch? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm creating my own reality. Yes, I'm a master see, of my own thing. That's right. <laughs> you are a master. You got your own. You can decide your own future. Okay, and with every decision that you make, and that's why you come up with the 3D theory: decisions determine destiny. And you explain exactly that. Those words and your your decision to change and everything. How you look like, man? I'm bringing. I'm down all the time. <laughs> And then I get around people, I bring other people that I don't want to be around nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to isolate yourself. You know what I'm saying? With that isolation, guess what? More fear stacks on top of it because that isolation leads into procrastination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, we get clouded as we grow up, diminishing our imagination. And with that, you start, you start paying attention to the facts of your life instead of the truth mm -hmm. of your right. life. That's right. There's a big difference between the facts of your life and the, the truth, truth of your life. life. Yep. That's it right there. Because facts, what's a good example? Your name. Yeah. That's a fact. Who you are, Rochelle. I'm the white. It's a thing. That's the name. <laughs> but the truth is, all three of us in here are pure spirits connected to the same infinite intelligence, the same energy, the same source of creativeness. We're all connected to that. That's the truth. And being connected to that, you, like you said, am I a witch? I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying stuff and it's happening? Yes, because this, just the, the universe that we're connected to, that cosmic dust, that, that energy that just cannot be seen, but it can be felt. Yeah. That's what produced, that's what manifests. Your word goes out and it does not return void. So whether you say something negative, it will turn negative, that's what you say. But if you go out and say something positive, it's gonna come back positive. So those words, yes, 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 I love this. I love this session. Right? <laughs> I so think the, the I think what got me, what started to make me very conscious about my words was actually in a very like tragic way. Um, so my oldest brother, um, you know, we had gotten like real close. Um, due to like our both of our strained relationships with like our dad we never really got close until i became like what 14 uh -huh. 13 and so one day we were riding around and he was telling me all these stories and he said he looked me dead in the face and he was like you almost didn't have a brother i almost i almost got killed. i shouldn't be alive today i should have been killed Two weeks later, he was killed. Wow. Two weeks later. After that, I'm like, wow. He survived years of, you know, living on, you know, not the living, living on the edge, being, you know, a teenage knucklehead without a father. You know, the, you know, the streets live like, you know, you yeah. know, the streets like so. And then he changed his, went to jail, changed his life, had my nephew had his whole life like in order now right. mm -hmm. like a right. grown man now yeah. and he said that and then i guess two weeks later the universe was like you know what you are working on borrowed time and i never ever forgot that till this day i don't even joke about that like i don't even joke about like like death or like anything because 
it's just I realized at that moment in time our words are spells yeah mm-hmm. that's right that's right you cast your own spell you can look through your own crystal ball and see your own future meditation is something serious and when I was depressed and stressed out I had all this anxiety built inside of me I looked at meditation as something silly as something like I've seen on TV that just like Buddhas, Buddhas do, monks do, whatever, mm-hmm. make them fun. Yeah, <laughs> the humming and everything. Like, man, whatever. So just do what you need to do and get it done. But saying that with that attitude of saying just get it done, just do it, that attitude is negative. And you're going to get more negative headaches and irritation along with those words that I, that I just spoke. So I, I had to change. So making that decision and reading, I kept reading those, reading these words and everything, they was, kept saying meditate, meditate, meditate. In the Bible, meditate day and night it, on his word, like meditate, meditate. So I started meditating. <laughs> and see, like, I actually light a candle, sit down, cross legs, do the hmm. <laughs> At first I started out doing hmm, but now it's, it's on a different level where I use my imagination and I see myself in si- certain situations where, okay, mm-hmm. I got a seminar coming up. I can close my eyes, see myself getting up walking on stage, walking to the podium, walking to that microphone, looking at everybody in their eyes, smiling and getting everybody in that good mood, even seeing the spotlight hit me as I'm on stage, seeing like little lines in the wood on the floor of the stage. Those details of that imagination within that meditation, that's, your, that's that word going out, not coming back void. Exactly. I always think about this one quote um, that I heard, and you know, it's always, you know, the spiritual people against the religious people and vice versa and everybody, you know, I think those two things are intertwined. I think spirituality is is doing the work, doing yeah. the work, you know? And so I always think about that one phrase where they say, prayer is you asking God. Meditation is you receiving the information that you pray for. And since that day, I've been looking at meditation a lot different. Like now I set aside my 10 minutes a day. If you can't set aside 10 Ten minutes, minutes a day. day to meditate, I kid you not. I did one TikTok video that outlined my day. And, that, and I said, this is how I beat depression, right? right? And guess what? Everybody in the comments, right? It, it, it got almost like a, like a million views. Wow. Everybody in these comments, she doesn't do that every day. Why, how, how can I do that every day? I have a job. I have this, I have that. Okay, one, <laughs> you know, them, those minutes you spent scrolling down TikTok yep. and going on your phone, those are the 10 minutes. Those are the 10 minutes you had to change your life. And you know what I'm saying? You don't believe that, oh, well, my depression is more severe. My, my, pressure, my depression was bad. Yep. <laughs> my depression was terrible. Those 10 minutes that y'all are sitting on there bashing me about, Y'all could be doing it with yourselves. And I even told them, I was like, these comments don't bother me because I meditate. And if yeah. I didn't meditate, yeah. <laughs> you would have gotten inside my brain. <laughs> See, it's that, that meditation is like, it's like you're preparing yourself mm-hmm. for something that could happen. When you, if you weren't prepared for yeah. it, you'd be in an emergency, you know? But when you prepare yourself for it and you work out for it and, it, and the situation comes and it presents itself, you're ready. Right. Exactly. So, I mean, I mean, I felt like a lot of people don't understand that we are co-creators with the universe and the ones who are on top realize that, yep. you know, yes, um, they do. And they <laughs> have an attitude, too. They walk around with that type of confidence, They do, you know, because they know that with your word, we're all we're, we're all in control of our own destinies. And whatever feeling, whatever thought that, that that dominates your mind, that's what your life experience is going to be. Mm-hmm. No matter where you come from, no matter the color of your skin, no matter how much money you have. And I'm talking about if you're in the lower category on the tax bracket, like, and you're looking at somebody driving a Lamborghini, guess what? That Lamborghini driver, probably just more depressed, more depressed than you. Right. Oh yeah, energy is is currency, and some people are literally broke. The bank account will read a few mil, but that that energy yeah. currency on the inside just just totally just n- n- no type of awareness at all to 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 self, no type of uh, awareness to to the emotional intelligence 
that that that's that's driving them down into the grave. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because the ones with the money, they got the resources <laughs> right. to damage themselves faster. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and the ones that's struggling, it's it, it's kind of stretched out. But it, it could be it could be shortened up also because with all of the, the liquor stores and the smoking and all the drinking and all the other stuff, it, it shortens it up. But I'm saying if you got the resources to do damage to yourself, poor oh boy, man. You gotta prepare. Yep. You have to prepare yourself. You truly do. And those words matter. They do. Move and on. definitely the gratitude aspect too, because you may have like I see this all the time on social media. Like, um, I don't know if y'all are aware of like TikTok culture, but my friend got me hooked on TikTok and I just go ahead and scroll up on there. And it'll I'm literally be like I'll be snitching on you. I'll be snitching on you. He's playing at it. <laughs> that's how you know like you, yeah. you see videos and it's like okay like um i gotta do this and that because i'm determined to live my best life mm -hmm. okay i feel like we look forward and we look forward and we look forward and we don't look around Not we're just true. looking forward and so you have people like my my people come from like the k Verde islands like a third world country so it's like i see how they live over there and i see how we live over here and you still have people with roofs over their head, doors that separate their uh, their rooms, and food that they don't have to fish or you know go farm. Mm -hmm. And they and they'll sit up here in like a high rise or a nice apartment, a luxury house, luxury items, and complain that they're not where they want to be. So how do y'all? How what's your advice to my audience of how to just appreciate? where you are right now and how that contributes to where you want to be. You have to be grateful. I challenge everybody, Mr. Thing and your whole audience out there that's listening right now, <laughs> um, I challenge everybody to the grateful challenge. Mm. And let me explain the grateful challenge. The grateful challenge is, this is what I want you to do. Write down three I want things. You to write down three things every morning when you wake up. Keep a pen and pad next to your nightstand. You write down three things first when you wake up, boom, I'm grateful for it, one, two, and three. And just don't miss something. I mean, feel it on the inside of you. You know what I mean? Like, feel it. Like, this morning, I, I, I was like, you know what? Today is a I Love My Body Saturday. And I went back to old school, kindergarten, daycare, uh, uh, <laughs> nursery rhyme. I, I'm grateful for one, my hands. <laughs> I'm grateful for two, my feet. Right. My knees and my toes. So like, yes. you know what I mean? Just, 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 you know, hands, feet, knees, and toes. But I felt that on the inside, though, and it made me smile this morning because it, like, reminded me of my childhood when I was had fun singing that song. Hands, you know? shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah, That's yeah, the song. Yeah, 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 You know what it is. I would reach that thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, okay, you list down those three things, okay? And then here is the challenge. I want you to pick three people out of your contacts list, all right? Three people, I want you to text them three things that you're grateful for. And I want you to challenge them to reply back to you with three things they're grateful for. All right? And I want you to do this for seven whole days. Do this for seven whole days. Challenge each other. Keep, you know, so, and sometimes you may piggyback off each other, but I want you to be different. Be different in your word selection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This way, you're starting to build a foundation for your thinking on a better level, on a positive level. So this way, the complaining is going to diminish. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you sh you're telling your brain, search for items, search for things, search for back in the day memories, search for future, future ideas, search for goals that I appreciate, that I want in my life, that makes me feel good in my life. Okay. And when you do that, your brain, your subconscious mind is going to react. It's going to start searching for all these things to be grateful for. And while you're going to work or while you're cooking in the kitchen or you're cleaning up or something, washing clothes, folding laundry, your brain still act like, you know what? I'm grateful for a washing and dry. Yeah. I'm, I'm grateful for a carpet. I'm grateful for hardwood floor. I'm grateful for dishwashing liquid. I'm grateful for toothpaste. See, so I think, see now, you're too busy being grateful to even think about being complaining. Right. And yeah. I, like yesterday, I told baby girl, I looked at baby girl, I looked at her, I was mad. I looked at her mad. You understand me? Her face was mad. She's like, why are you, 
Why are you looking like that? Why don't you fix your face? What's wrong with you, boy? I say, baby girl. <laughs> I say, baby girl, I ain't got nothing to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> the best problems in the world. Yeah. <laughs> the best problem in the world. Red out of stuff to complain about. You know? nothing to complain about. Nothing. You sound just like the people on TikTok. Like, you know what? <laughs> All this positivity, I really hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. It's my accommodating me and my bad attitude that feels so good to me. And so I'm going to take it out on someone else. <laughs> and she was looking at you like, boy, you sound so backwards right now. <laughs> yeah, he sounded so backwards. I was like, what you mean? Like, make it make sense. Like, just, like, just, just nothing, explain yourself. I'm like, I'm thinking, baby girl. I'm like, I don't have nothing to complain about. Like, and that's a blessing to not have anything to complain about. And you try right. to figure out something that you can complain about. I could complain about you complaining about you not having anything to complain about. You can't have something to complain about. <laughs> so that's that's the advice. That's the advice I'm giving. Be great. Write down three grateful things. Text somebody three things that you're grateful for. Encourage them to text back three things that they're grateful for, mm -hmm. right? Right. And then at the end of the seven days, guess what? You keep doing it. Exactly. Yep. You keep doing it again and again. Why do you want to keep doing it again and again? I'm tell you why. Repetition yep. is the mm -hmm. best, the best way to learn something. The best way to renew your mind. Repetition is the best way to enjoy everything that you want, everything you want to have, have, do, possess, that repetition on positive information, that repetition on being grateful, that right there is going to open your mind completely. Yeah, for sure. And you will then say, and look to your special one, I ain't got nothing to complain about. And mean it. And really, I actually, actually mean it. And so that's my advice. That's my practice gratitude to have that good attitude. Text that individual, write this stuff down and encourage them to text back. And look, yeah, don't get offended. If they don't text back. Yeah, that's another thing. Cause I started doing that and, and it started draining energy out of me. Like texting individuals and they wouldn't text back. It's like, man, I'm trying to uplift you. You know what I mean? But some, guess what? You cannot force goodness down somebody's throat. You can't make them. Yeah. A word. <laughs> a word. <laughs> let's talk about it. Like, let's talk about the people in our lives who are only here for the bad, for your bad energy. They're only here to feed your bad energy. It's like you can bring them to, like the juiciest gossip, like some tea, and they'll they'll sit there and be like, "Oh, really, girl?" And, and sit All there into it. and bring it to you. You suggest, "Oh, let's do something very positive. Let's go to this event, or, or let's uh, watch this video that you know." And they're like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll watch it. Yeah, yeah. And don't and watch don't, it. Don't even watch it. Don't watch it. Don't send you any affirmations back. Mm -hmm. Don't send you the grateful list. And that's where we get to the, to the point where we have in our seminars, trying versus applying. Because when you try something, that leads to more procrastination. Mm -hmm. When you try something, that leads to poor time management. It's like you said, let's go do this. But then the person that's stuck, I don't have time for that. That's that poverty mindset that needs to be changed. Yeah, you gotta make that decision to change. You know, so that like like that uh, when you when you apply though when you apply it, that's when you say you know what I make a decision. I'm gonna write this stuff down. I'm gonna send out this text message. Whoever texts me back, guess what? They on my grateful list. Yeah. Whoever right. don't text me back, let them go. Right. Let them go. And, and, and for the individual that's the Debbie Downer, the <laughs> negative Nancy, okay, yeah. uh, all, the negative, all the people that, guess what, love them from a distance. Yeah. Those are called right. fair weather friends. Mm. Fair weather friends, they only show up when they can benefit what you can do for them, with what they benefit from you. Yeah. And that's the only time they show up or you hear from them. So you can still love them, don't deny them, not saying that at all, but just love them from a distance. Where it doesn't drag you down. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't interrupt your, your peace. Oh yeah. I think that's I think to me, uh it's just drawing those boundaries with people who don't contribute to my peace has been like one of the hardest lessons that I've had to learn so far. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you love somebody 
and you know when once the love comes and the loyalty comes and then so it's like okay i love this person but then you have to like whenever i was starting to change my life and do things walk it walk in my own light and, and get closer to god and, and source i had to think about like really reflect on okay who's feeding me what are these people feeding me mm -hmm. so then i started looking around and okay what's this person feeding me how do i feel after these conversations like am i feeling drained am i feeling tired mm -hmm. am i feeling are, are there decisions things that i no longer want to you know associate myself with because everything is a frequency mm -hmm. yeah. and so it's like okay love aside loyalty aside i have to do things that will set me free that's right are you strong enough to back off that individual though you see what i'm saying to like kind of let it go you know because you know it's the best idea though. okay i need to start separating myself from that type of Debbie down or negative yeah. Nancy that's always down, you know, and just love them from a distance. Do you have that strength inside of you to let that go? And that's a big step. It's that's hard. It's a hard step to take. <clears throat> I've been in that situation several times before, you know, um, and it is a hard step to take. But once you take that step and let that person be back there and you continue to elevate your life, you feel so much better. There's so much peace and clarity within you. And that's something that's one less problem or one less negative thing that you have to worry about. And having that peace and clarity within your mind and your body and your spirit is something that no one should be able to take that from you. Mm -hmm. So how do you step through that door? How do you how do you decide that, OK, for me, this isn't working for me? When you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, mm. when enough is enough, mm. like you, you, that was the last straw. That was the last thing, you know, that's, that's a feeling. the that's a feeling you feel inside. That's only, a feeling only, that, you, only feel that you know about only that you know. Yeah. And you, you know, when you feel that feeling, it's not like a feeling that's just going to overcome you. No, you know, this is a feeling that has been building up to your breaking point where it's like, I'm completely done with this i am not doing this anymore and once you release that and you let go of that negativity that that stream that like that's dragging you like that that's just lowering your energy and just giving you a headache you're not seeing clearly and stuff like that when you let that go it's golden right and you definitely see a change in energy like oh yeah you definitely see a change in energy. And it's just, at, at the end of the day, for me, it just kind of boils down to, is me or you? Yeah. Who am I choosing? Am I am I honoring myself? Is this is this relationship honoring me? Is this friendship honoring me? Is this, do I see myself, if, if I'm doing exactly what I'm doing right now, will I get to exactly where I want to be? Mm -hmm. And like, are these things aligning? And sometimes... You gotta put people on ice that you don't want to put on ice. That's true. <laughs> that's that's very true. You, you know, you say in the Bible, say you should have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. You know, saying the people don't realize what that actually mean. Like other gods before me. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, like you said, that friend that's always putting you down, but you keep showing them love, and it's bringing you down. That's putting another god before me, or you got laid off of work, right? And you keep saying to yourself, "I'm laid off. I'm laid off. I'm laid off." That you're putting a laid off guard before you. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're paying attention to stuff that's that are illusions. Right. They're illusions. They're mental illusions. They do not exist. Mm -hmm. And that's putting other guards before me. That's what that that's what that means. You gotta you have to cancel out those illusions by crossing out the negative self identity. You gotta know, you gotta do something that makes you happy, okay? And you you have to you have to have a a, a drawn out plan objectives goals that's okay. what you need you know and you need to hang around positive material and you need to read and if you can't read positive material listen to those out there that can't read if you can't read listen yeah. listen to positive material be around positive material find events of positivity so now you're building your own brain yeah. now you're mm -hmm. conditioning it in a way that's better you're exalting yourself you're increasing your value that's what you do yeah. exactly like speaking of feeding your brain that's a, that's another thing that's helped me on this healing journey is at some point whenever i whenever i took myself out the matrix a lot of rap that i really enjoyed i started looking at that 
different. If you yeah. turn the beats off, all I'm hearing is is killing your brother and, and, and disrespecting your sister yeah. <laughs> and some more. So I'm like, to me, it was just a song. Like, you know, it's like, you know, you just bop into whatever. My subconscious is it's taking sad. all of that in. Exactly. So at some point, I had to just look at my playlist and be like, listen. <laughs> listen. I like that. I want things that only have positive affirmations in them. Yeah. No more little dirt. <laughs> See, that's my playlist that I have after one title. <laughs> exactly. So it's like now I find myself replaying the same. Like uh, I play a lot of Jay Z music because that's inspirational. So a lot of his songs, like you don't know, and mm -hmm. then like you know, just the different songs that have positive affirmations. Right. And, and right. the Beyonce album was so positive yeah. that I'm that girl that <laughs> you know. So as my music change, as my music taste evolves. And my viewing evolves like now i don't even really watch tv like that and so i'm like but i feel better yeah i feel that's lighter right. that's right you cut it off that's an off button right and it's like i'm it. done yeah. I'm not being <laughs> <negative>. <laughs> i don't want to live like that no more yes yeah. yes yeah. it's an off button. It's, it's just in your mind you press that off button in your mind and then you press the off button on that remote you press the off button on that laptop you press the off button on that cell, cell phone. phone you see what i'm saying you press the off button on no bad negative uh uh friends and family members and that's right. another thing family members are dangerous yeah yep <laughs> They're the hardest to get rid of, too. Yeah. <laughs> Family members are dangerous. You, you, you really got to know. Okay. Okay, I'm going to send you a card. It's Not a card. It's still showing up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You have to do it like that because it's like, the people force you. You have to love them. They're your family. But because they're that close, they can hurt you that bad. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You yes, know. Yes, ma'am. And Miss Kathy at the court office, she... She tells them, man, hey, that family, you, you, family can hurt you. And okay. family, family can develop a lot of, family can be the, your, your, the beginning of your depression, mm -hmm. the beginning of your stress. It can, that could be the sole purpose of why you're in the situation that you're in. That could be the sole purpose of why the decisions that you're making, you know what I mean, are indifferent inside of you. And you're going against yourself with some of these decisions that you're making. It's putting you in a deeper hole. So yeah, you gotta learn how to how to recognize that, you know, and that takes growth. It does. And being fed those words like that, you're, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people these days I'm finding are the, beginning to be the black sheep to their family, which I like to call like the white sheep to their family, mm -hmm. where they're starting to break generational curses and things like that. Yes, and then you're you're surrounded by your family and their outdated ways of thinking and their, you know, their negativity and their yes. trauma that they refuse to go to therapy for and that it that heavy energy being weighed on you and those words uh, that hold those being programmed into your subconscious just uh, in the name of love yes <laughs> yes and it's crazy because when you come to a point in your adult life and you see your aunts and your uncles or you know older family members right that that like years above years ahead of you and like and they're acting like in a way that's childish Mm -hmm. And their attitude is is, is 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 in a way that's dark. Their attitude and their emotions in a way that's low. And you think to yourself, you you used to teach me. And you know what I'm saying? Like you you the one that was dragging me to church. You know, like yeah. like. And now it's like, why are you not putting in practice all those years that you were telling us to do right? You know, put that in practice now. You right. know, like where's the faith? Where's the faith? So. Yeah, family is dangerous. Words, watch your thoughts, positive affirmations, read them, stay around them, breathe them, be about them. Yeah. And that don't this don't save them, but feel them from within, you know? Mm -hmm. That's healing medicine right there. Oh yeah. Be about them. That's that's the that's the key word in this, because you have people who love to talk a good game, but they're not willing to make those life changes in order to live a better life. So I guess before we wrap up, I wanted you to share some of your most powerful affirmation. Like, like give us a little sermon. Give us a little Absolutely. BYOB magic. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody that's not looking. <laughs> you see it. You see it. Now, now, the affirmation we're going to do right now, 
it's like a sort of like a, 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 a meditation. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to get relaxed. We're going to lift our chins up. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to open our third eye. Our eye that's on the inside of, in our mind, our third eye, because in this eye, this is the eye that we use to see clearly our imagination, our visualization. This is our crystal ball right here that we see through. So what we're going to do is repeat these words after me. We're going to receive all of this goodness. First thing first, here we go. I am in control of my emotions. I am in control of my emotions. Joy hears my voice. Joy, joy hears my voice. I call joy and joy enters my heart. I call joy and joy enters my heart. Come here, joy. Come, Come here, here, joy. Be right next to me, joy. Be, Be right, right next to me, joy. I love to smile all day. I love to smile all day. I love to bring up individuals' feelings. I love to bring up individuals' feelings. I love myself. I love myself. Nothing, absolutely nothing gets me down. Nothing, absolutely nothing gets me down. I am completely motivated. I am completely motivated. Money is my servant. Money is my servant. Health is mine forever. Health is mine forever. And wealth is mine forever. Wealth is mine forever. Everything good I desire is already mine. Everything good that I desire is already mine. Let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be done. Let it be done. I am happy. I am happy. I am joyful. I am joyful. And I am grateful. And I am grateful. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's Thank you guys is. so much for Practice uplifting on the daily. audience. Um, and then I also want you guys to uh, let everybody know how we can keep following BYOB and <laughs> so um we're on social media our instagram is at underscore underscore b y o b um our tiktok is underscore underscore b y o b underscore underscore um G email it, our email is build your own brain 11 11 at gmail.com and our phone number in case you want to get in contact with us um it's 713 851-0025. And if you go on Instagram, right, on Instagram at the underscore underscore BYOB, um, click the link in the bio. Okay. <laughs> click the link in the bio, and that's going to pull up all of our videos. We got a, a lot of podcast videos and interviews and seminars mm -hmm. that are available online right now. And I want to let everybody know, build your own brain. We've uh, been blessed with the opportunity. Uh, we have our own show now. We have our own segment within the Daily Smoke podcast. Our show is called Thinking with BYOB. And, it's, and it airs every second Thursday of the month on, uh, on YouTube. And that's at the Daily Smoke uh, uh, podcast. And you don't spell the with T-H-E. It's with the A. <laughs> Okay. So if you click the link in our bio, um, it's a Linktree account on Instagram. If you click the link in the bio, uh, the very first link in the bio is thinking with BYOB. And it's the first air episode that we aired yes, was yes. this past Thursday. So um, it's something well worth watching. It's well good. worth watching. Oh, Mr. Thino, that first episode, girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> the first episode is so amazing, so much, it's so dynamite. It's called the Financial Joy Seminar. 
Mm. How to get a raise. Yes. Ooh, I need one of those. See? I need one of those. Got to tune in. Got to tune in. And turn it up. Yes. <laughs> Please do. And anybody out there, hey, the shirts, the shirts, oh, the shirts that are so powerful that we're wearing right now. It's the 3D theory. 3D theory stands for Decisions Determine Destiny. Destiny. All right. You click that uh, link in our bio. Uh, it's a cash app or you DM us your size. We get you the price and we, you know, make the exchange, the transaction. But these shirts, are going like crazy and you you will get attention when you wear this shirt because people look at it because something positive you know what right. i mean yeah, versus they, something negative on yes. the shirt that y'all will buy right. <laughs> really. but no problem no problem at all <laughs> but see this positive message that's on this shirt decisions determined that people will look at you and be like and it'll spark a conversation it will right you know what i mean and that's when you start thinking that's when you start talking out loud about positivity and that's part of building your own brain also yeah. so like i said it comes full circle so we got seminars that are uh, that we're available to uh to 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 to, to present to churches, organizations, the universities, schools, uh, uh, gender reveals, family reunions. I mean, you name it. We are available. We'll tr we are available to travel. Okay, so we're good to go with that. So, information seven one three eight five one zero zero two five. Email us at build your own brain eleven eleven uh, at gmail dot com. So, hey, Miss Athena. Big, big shout out to you. Yes. Thank you. You, <laughs> Thank you. you are an amazing, amazing queen that I'm sitting across from right Thank now. Yes. That has nothing but skill, talent, beautiful Thank smile. You. I'm talking about this sister is, boy, hey, whoever out there dating this woman right now, you better get straight, brother. You better get straight, brother. Okay? I'm telling you, go in places, brother, all right? And, with, and, and she can be a powerhouse, I'm telling you right now, because she is a shining light. She's a shooting star. And I mean, and she's coming through and she ain't taking no prisoners. None. <laughs> she's oh, positive, she's so strong, good. she's energetic. And I mean, I see nothing but good things within Mr. Athena's life right now. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate this opportunity. Yes, we thank appreciate you so this much. chance. We appreciate this thank atmosphere. All. all of this. This is just a blessing. I am so glad that y'all agreed to come on this show, y'all. I saw um, BYOB came out to um to a meeting that i went to and just literally just filled the room up with positivity i was like nah i have on my podcast <laughs> nah because that, that that little servant healed me <laughs> i got I, my, my my audience gotta hear it like yeah. you know there's so much negativity that we're being fed like how about we uplift each other how about we Yes. You know, feed ourselves like food that sticks. Yes. Yes. So yes. food. Renewing right. people's minds. Exactly. For the better. The, For the better. The bread that that, that matters. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The bread the the bread stands for knowledge in that great book, right? Mm -hmm. And then that wine, that wine stands for the feeling. You right. must get drunk on the feeling of being good, feeling good and living the life of abundance. Yep. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, thank you again so much. And we appreciate you.